What are you scared of? Because it's holding you back. Maybe it came to mind immediately. Or it didn't. But you might have felt it in your body. Whatever it is, we all have something that holds us back from our true potential. Eckhart Tolle said in his book, A New Earth, knowing yourself deeply has nothing to do with whatever ideas are floating around in your mind. Knowing yourself is rooted in being instead of lost in your mind. This was the first book I ever read on mindfulness and learning about the ego. And it was the book that kickstarted my long journey of self-discovery and self-growth. And the funny thing about any spiritual journey is that you connect to it in some way. It finds you the same way that this video found you. I first read this book when <laughs> Zoe on her little catwalk. I grabbed this book to read during a trip that I went on with my friends a couple years back after listening to some podcasts and hearing more about it through a podcast that Oprah released where she did interview Eckhart Tolle and I was just mesmerized by what he was saying and how I wanted to read more about it. When we were about to take off, I'm sitting with the book on my lap and the flight attendants are walking down the aisles and one stops so abruptly and she just turns to me and goes, that book is amazing. It changed my life. It was such a random and surreal moment, but it was so validating. I felt heard and seen and knew that this is something else that other people also gain so much value from and that so many other people are touched by this exact same topic. And I just turned to my friends and went, see? It's crazy how like the world of spirituality just like really brings people together in a way that like you almost can't communicate because it's so magical. When you let go of other people's thoughts and projections and judgment, you begin to free yourself. When you let go of your thoughts, judgments, and perceptions, and just feel, you free yourself. And what do I mean by feel, right? Take a moment and just sit with yourself. Take a deep breath. And just connect with your body. What are sensations that you might feel, big or small, doesn't matter. Thoughts might come up. Acknowledge them. Are they thoughts of like what you need to do today? What happened in the past? be feeling like this is a waste of time you should be doing something more productive acknowledge them look at them for what they are how do they make you feel where do you feel the sensations in your body is your chest tight when you think of the things that you need to do when you think of like what you want to do what does that feel like in your body is there fear does it feel like something's holding you back holding you down do you fill up with light and excitement? Be aware of the sensations in your body because we are one connected system. We are mind, body, and soul. And when you pay attention to one thing more than the other, you throw everything else off balance. Your mind can become a trap. And as someone who overthinks so much, it's important to reconnect with your body and the sensations that you feel for example, sometimes when I really want to do something and I feel like it's the right thing to do, my mind will kick into overdrive and it'll overthink and overcomplicate and overplan and over strategize and I'll freeze due to what some people call it as analysis paralysis because I feel like I'm not ready for whatever it is that I want to do or who am I to do that? And you stop and you feel constrained. For me personally, I feel it in my chest and in my core, like there's something holding me from the inside, gripping and pulling me down. And I realize that that's fear, wanting to keep me safe, wanting to keep me in comfort in what I know. But how do you move past that? How do you free yourself from that? What you can do is connect with your body again, feel. Acknowledge that feeling. So for me, it's that gripping 
holding what feels like it's holding like my stomach and my heart it's holding it here so I'm feeling it I'm acknowledging it understanding why understanding that it's holding me because it wants me to be safe but I know that that no longer serves me and it's holding me down and it's holding me back now so I feel and I imagine that grip loosening breathing through it letting it know that it's safe that it's okay that it can let go until I feel that sensation release and I keep reminding myself that it's okay and that you can move forward that's just an example of something you can do too connect with your body feel the sensations that you feel acknowledge them and try to understand where they're coming from that's where compassion is really important show yourself compassion show the feelings and sensations that you feel with compassion don't fight them work with them if it's difficult to work through things instead try imagining what does it feel like to have what you want already what does that sensation feel like in your body like imagine you didn't have any more stress about something you didn't have any worries about anything everything that you want just comes your way imagine what that feels like imagine the energy that you would emanate how would you walk around each day how would you approach each day how would you approach each interaction how would you do that what is the energy that you would carry imagine that close your eyes and feel that in your body for me that's like warm uplifting bright you radiate imagine that energy feel that energy focus on it and let it expand through your body imagine that energy and that power fusing with every single cell in your body keep this energy alive inside of you now ask yourself how would this energy deal with what you're scared of don't think it feel it your being your true being is strong it's powerful it's adaptive it's capable it wants you to succeed it's wired to succeed when we give our mind too much power we throw everything else off balance but when you connect back with yourself you feel that strength in yourself and if you let that motivate you and fuel you whatever problem pops in your mind you can overcome that your being your true self is strong and when you connect more and more with this feeling you find your true self and you find that this feeling of abundance is your true self and the more that you practice connecting with it the more you give yourself the power to overcome obstacles that come in your way because you feel down in your core that you can overcome the obstacles that they are just obstacles of the mind and you can overcome them because you're using your entire system to overcome them you set yourself free because you let go of what isn't yours i invite you to connect with yourself and free yourself moving forward every day take a moment to connect with yourself it doesn't need to be this big long grandiose thing with this complicated morning routine take five minutes to just sit with yourself and reconnect in the morning with this strong powerful energy that version of yourself that can take on anything keep that energy with you and in the day when you feel like you're losing it just take a moment close your eyes and just reconnect to that feeling bring yourself back from your mind bring yourself back to your body feel that abundance because it's yours your true self is ready to connect if you resonated with this video it would mean the world if you hit that like and subscribe button it helps grow this channel and spread this video and others like it to other people who might also benefit from it and it also helps grow my dream of building this channel and community of like-minded individuals who want to work on themselves and build the life that they truly dream of and step into the version of themselves 
that's been lying dormant, waiting to just burst out of its shell. Thank you for joining me today. See you in the next one.